Hi YouTube, I'm Tina and welcome to my channel, Amazon Tips with Tina. Today I'm going to be going over ChatGPT and using it to either create or fix a listing. Now you can use ChatGPT to create listings for you in eBay, on Etsy, on Amazon, whatever platform you sell on, you can use ChatGPT to assist you. So I was helping a client the other day, trying to troubleshoot his listings and why they weren't doing well, and what could we possibly do to help make them. So I was sharing with him that I've been using ChatGPT for a full year now, and I really find it helpful. It has saved me a lot of time in writing my own bullet points and my own product descriptions. Now, some of you may have tools like Helium 10, where you're already doing your research against your competition and grabbing keywords. Maybe you're just using Google keywords. You can even chat, ask ChatGPT for some keywords. But one of my favorite things to do is look at my competition's listings that are doing well and incorporate some of the keywords that they are already using in their title and in their bullet points, because I'm sure with that coupled with advertising, they've already mastered it and figured it out. Now, I do want to point out that with a listing creation, not everything is your title and your keywords. Your photos also come into play. So you want to have some great photos. But to stick to today's topic, I want to use some listing examples on Amazon and how I use it with Jack GPT to help fix or create my listing. So I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to take a look at some Amazon listings. Okay, so going here into Amazon, my client happened to have one of these types of table runners. This of course is not his listing, but this are listing similar to his listing. So why are some of these similar table runners doing better than others? They're all very much similar. The photos are maybe a little bit different. For cheesecloth table runner in black, we have 176 results over here on Amazon. So these ones I'm ignoring because they're sponsored. This one is not sponsored, so I assume it is ranking organically. And I wanna come down here to the second row. And here on the second row, you see it's all the same thing, but they're telling the story. Here's a table runner and you're getting 12 pack and they want to show you that. This I'm guessing is just one table runner. Um, their title down below doesn't seem to show right away that it's more than one. This one tells me the table runner looks like this. I'm probably getting six. They have different colors. Plus it comes in a bag. I mean, their picture tells that story. And you see down here, it is a six pack. Then we have this one right here. And if you see my Kifa chart popping up off to the side, you can see its sales aren't as great. It doesn't have as many star feedbacks as these ones next to it. And it looks like it's one um, runner selling for $9.99. Right next to it, we have another runner that is also selling for $9.99 with lots of stars, 800 um, bought in the past month. Now, if I were to click on this listing, I'm guessing it maybe is much newer than this one, um, being more seasoned. But they're definitely, if, if this was me and this was my listing right here, and this is my competitor, I want to see why is theirs doing so good and why is mine not. So just to look so we can be sure, let's see how old this listing is on Amazon. And we can tell that if you use Keepa, you can quickly tell how long it's been on here, see all 50 days. So this has been on here just shy of two months. And they have video, they have images, and they have simple bullet points. They're, the bullet points are not really long. I can see the keywords uh, put in here, all the other colors that they offer up above. And it, it looks like they have some decent keywords in here, wedding, party, bridal, baby shower, birthday. They don't have great spacing. You see how after party there's um, the comma and there's not a space. Um, they have Christmas, Thanksgiving. They misspelled Valentine's Day. We have Easter. Um, so the bullet points don't look fabulous. Um, they're not the worst, but we can see some errors and where we could improve. Okay, so now let's go back to our neighbor listing right next to us. 
and we're going to assume it's also been on here longer. And they also have the variations of the other colors. And I mean, right away we see they have big bullet points, lots of information. And it's been on here a little more than a year. And I bet if we go back to when they first were on, they were maybe doing just as well. And it seems like over the course of this time, they've maintained good sales and they've not had to really change their pricing. Um, so we like that. So this listing looks good. It has a good track record. It's doing well. How is mine different? Well, for one, right off the bat, I see they have much longer bullet points. That's not always a good thing, um, but in this case, maybe it is because maybe they have better keywords. I'm not a fan of the big brackets like this in the beginning. I am a fan of the all capital letters that tell you what this uh, bullet point is about. So it's long black table runner. And so I know that this is going to be about the sizing premium material. If I want to know what the material is, I'm going to read this bullet point. At a glance, without reading word for word, it looks like they have proper punctuation, spelling, spacing. So that is definitely better. Um, I like this um, other extra words in here, romantic, rustic, boho. Those are good words. Multifunctional. So I'm assuming this paragraph is going to tell me all the different things I could do with it. Um, it could be used as decorative napkins, can also be used for chair tie back decoration and for a wedding arch. So it is telling me other alternatives for it. They're using this keyword here, rustic and sheer table runner. I mean, the picture shows me it's sheer, but they're letting me know that here. And they're saying boho farmhouse style table runner. Um, so they're definitely putting a lot of keywords in here like the other listing did, wedding table, bridal, baby shower, and then they offer a guarantee. The guarantee is not in all capitals like these above, so I mean that's something to keep things looking fluid and running together would be good. But at a glance, we can see that their bullet points are very informative and do have a lot of great keywords. And I want to compare title next to title. So if this was my listing here, it starts off with cheesecloth table runner, large gauze, black table runner, 10 feet cheesecloth. They did cheesecloth twice, but spelled differently for wedding party, bridal shower. I'm assuming it goes on from here. This one is letting me know it's 13 feet in the beginning. Why does that matter? Because the first five words in our title are the most important keywords in our listing. So I'm guessing that possibly the length is more important than the word cheese cloth, spelt as two different words. Then they have cheese cloth as a single word and the word table runner. So 13 foot black table runner, I think is pretty important. They have cheese cloth table runner, again, the spacing issue, large gauze black table runner, and they have the uh, color further down. So. These are the things that I would compare. If this is mine, why is this one doing better and how is their title different than mine? And we see that they have that word boho. I see that here again. They use gauze in place of cheesecloth because that's another style. Table runner for wedding, wedding, bridal baby. And I'm sure that goes on when we click on the listing. So if I am wanting to rewrite my bullet points to be more like this or have this my title changed to be more like this, I can go over to ChatGPT and ask for help. So let's click on this listing so we can get the title. Oops. Ah. Sorry for that, with that jumping around. Here's my title, copy. And this is one way I might do it. I mean, with ChatGPT, your possibilities are endless. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask for help. Another thing I want to point out with ChatGPT is there's all these really cool uh, things up here um, that you can click on. And, and these are things for other videos. I mean, you can really dive into ChatGPT to use it for so much. So I'm going to ask it for help. I need help with my Amazon listing. I am going to share my current title.
title and my competitor's title and have you come up with a new title for my Amazon listing. My listing is not performing like my competitions. Please extract the most important keywords and rewrite my title. I'm going to say my product title. Product. I give ChatGPT a lot of details. I didn't used to, but the more details I give it, the better um, responses I'm getting from ChatGPT when I'm giving it enough information um, to rewrite my product title. Also, ask any questions you have if needed before doing this task. Then I'm going to say this is my current product title. I'm going to put some quotes here. And then I'm going to end it in quotes. And this is my competitions title. Now let's go back here to Amazon and we're going to backspace. We're going to take this person's title And I probably should have left out the key, uh, the brand name because that's not relevant for the title. And I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to take out, uh, okay, I didn't put the title in the other one. Okay, now I'm going to paste my competition's title. Now we're going to hit the send message. So we're gonna see what ChatGPT says. Okay, so they said, to create a more effective Amazon listing title, we should aim to include important keywords that potential customers might use to search for your product. Here are the important keywords extracted from your current title and your competitor's title. This can be very helpful because you can take these keywords later and ask ChatGPT to please incorporate them into your bullet points, into your product listing, and possibly you may want to use them um, as search terms. So, and here's the competitors. Now let's create a new title that combines these keywords effectively. And ChatGPT gave me black cheesecloth. Remember I said the color probably is going to be important. The word table runner and how big it is. So black cheesecloth table runner, 13 feet long for wedding, bridal, baby shower, and parties. Boho gauze table decorations. That is a great title. It's simple and it's clean. It's not busy like the other ones and I like it. And so I now may take ChatGPT's advice and change my product title and let that run for a month and see does it help increase the sales. Now I can do the same for the bullet points. So I'm going to assume my competition has the better bullet points and I'm going to go ahead and copy all of it. We don't want to plagiarize and we don't want ours exactly like theirs. We want ours different. Now I'm going to tell ChatGPT what I would like it to do with these bullet points. I would like you to rewrite these bullet. Just hang on here because I'm going to do something. I would like you to rewrite these bullet points to have a better titled start at each 
pull it because I don't like hairs. And this is the part here. I would like you to also add, you could say like a funny tone, a serious tone. You can tell it, um, I would like it to be somber. I would like it to be festive. You can tell it the type of personality, if you will, of your bullet points. I would also like you to add a touch of fun, um, party humor. I'm just making this up. Um, to add personality to each bullet point. Keeping in mind the strong keywords from your list above. It doesn't forget what you've already talked about. Uh, so keep that in mind. So all of this stuff that we've already discussed with it um, pertaining to this listing, it knows that we're still talking all about this. So don't worry about that part. Now I'm going to paste my bullet points here. And now let's hit enter and let's see what happens. Certainly let's add some personality and prove the bullet points with more engaging and descriptive titles. Black beauty for every table. I don't know that I love that. I would probably change that. Um, just because we asked ChatGPT to do it doesn't mean it's perfect. Unbox one piece of our extra long black gauze cheesecloth table runner, a whopping, see that's where it added the humor. It gives you the length of it, the dimensions, durable and finished ends make it perfect for daily use. This table runner drapes beautifully and turns any table into an elegant centerpiece, even Halloween parties. Let's see what the second one says. Premium elegance in 10 colors. Now, if our listing were variations, then that would be nice if we did in fact have 10 colors. If we don't have 10 colors, clearly this bullet point would not work for, for us. So um, it, it goes on to say down here, choose from 10 colors to match your wedding theme perfectly. Now I like that, you know, especially if I had the 10 colors. Place flowers and candles on top to create a romantically rustic boho ambiance. And it's more than just a runner. That's that multifunctional treatment. Um, so I like that they stuck to that. And let's let's pretend we don't like these. I would like you to shorten these bullet points, but keep the most important features and sorry, change the tone to speak to an audience of wedding planners. And let's see what it comes up with. Let's see how it maybe changes it. And they changed it long and elegant black table runner from, what was it before? Black beauty. I didn't like that. Long and elegant black table runner. I like that better. All in one. Unveil a 160 inch. I like that much better than one piece. I don't like that one piece. Unveil a 160 inch black gauze table runner. I like that. It's short. It's to the point, and I think it sounds nicer. Premium cheesecloth craftsmanship. Um, so you see how you can play around with ChatGPT. And let's get real extreme here, just to show you how they how it could really be changed. Now, write these to a country western themed shopper. Look, lasso a long wild rust table runner crafted with a country twist, unbridled versatile for your barn bash. 
Um, so, you know, maybe your table runners are, are geared for a more cowboy rustic themed. I mean, you could tell ChatGPT to use these type of tones. So given the above information and bullet points, please, I always say please, Lucy laughs at me that I tell Chat GPT please since it's a robot. Um, please give me search terms to use in the back end that I have not used already. Words a customer might type in that I have not thought of. Let's see what it gives me back. Oh, and it's sticking to the cowboy since that was the last one we used. So if this was in fact a table runner for the Western audience, we have Western wedding decor, Wild West table runner, cowboy table setting, hoedown table linens, um, country chic table runner, Western inspired, horseshoe wedding. So see, these are great things that we might say, well, hey, I really like hoedown table linens. Can you take this one sentence and, you know, turn this into a bullet point? Or what about line dance party? You know, maybe these are things where you're like, oh, I haven't thought about that. I would now like you to incorporate it. You spend as much time as you would like in chat GPT, um, orchestrating and narrowing down how you want your listing to look and to feel. You know your audience, you know your product. When you picked this product at, to make a listing for, you had an audience in mind. Um, maybe that audience, it's not working. So it goes to show you that table runner maybe could be for a Western audience. Um, it was black, so maybe we wanted to make it be all about Halloween and embrace the Halloween season. Um, and, and you might want to change up your bullet points or your title to gear for where we're at right now to help boost and increase sales. I mean, your possibilities are endless. When you're thinking about Etsy, you can use ChatGPT to really orchestrate great um, product descriptions for your homemade and craft type items. I've used it to create some listings in eBay. Uh, it really helps when you feel like you're, you're stuck. You know, sometimes I've had vintage clothing and I describe it to ChatGPT as well as I can. I'm not really sure the year it's from, you know, so I will describe how it looks. And it's amazing what type of descriptions it can come up with for me. I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. You know, it makes me want to keep it now. <laughs> so I hope you've liked this video where I've touched upon some ways that you can use ChatGPT to incorporate it into your product listings, no matter what platform you're selling on. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, get subscribed. Thank you for watching. And with that, have a great day.